the tool was the one in question and it's not um, how do you say a spring-loaded tension tool it's purely manual and just for interest because some people out there probably haven't used one I mean I bought my colleague one uh, for his birthday and he said I should have had one of these years ago I mean I, d I don't find it that good but I do use it sometimes and I'm just going to tell you how and when now the first thing about it is it has these little uh, spikes on the back if you can see that's what actually gets stuck into the lock and then you apply tension by turning it left and right with this knurled outer edge I'll give you some specs on it that way you can get a bit of an idea uh, so it's about 38 mil round the two spikes uh, top and bottom of them are about 10 10.05 the diameter of this is about 1.1 now I have been quite happy with the way it's been built it's been uh, pressed into these spots here and I haven't broken or bent them when I've been applying pressure and as you know when you apply pressure you actually need to sometimes rotate the lock a little bit it might be a latch or connect it onto an offset so I haven't found any big problem with it I don't use a lot the times that I use it mainly is when my lock is in a hard to get to spot for an example if uh, if I was picking this direction and my door frame was up here and I couldn't get in a tension tool like this I would use this one here Sometimes we have what's known as a block lock where the actual lock itself is this shape and it's mounted right up against a wall here So putting in a tension tool here that the tension tool basically wouldn't fit That's where this straight straight front access would I'm saying that too. There's other tension tools out there Which we don't use ones that actually go on the top of the cylinder. So on the top of the plug They actually grab it from the top right here in Australia. We don't use them a lot. We kind of do the bottom here So I mean I, ideally I could actually use the one that is at the top but I'm not that familiar with it so I just use this one um, is it good yes is it expensive it was at the time it's not now you can get an aftermarket one starting from about thirty to forty dollars you can also get the tension ones as well which show the tension for an extra thirty dollars or about double the price but uh, they are handy for access some of the downfalls with this tool is um, when you're actually putting it into the plug I'm not sure if you can see this I'm gonna zoom right in so you can see Okay, so when, when I'm putting it right into the plug, you can see that piece of wire actually goes right into the first chamber. Sorry, camera's moving. The piece of wire actually goes straight into the first chamber. So I actually have to hold it back a bit, give it a bit of space. Otherwise, I'm going to be starting to touch my first pin. Not allowing that to move will basically reduce your chances of picking it. So that's one downfall. Uh, the other downfall is when you're trying to use it on a knob, you can barely, barely only get just a little bit of the top in there and the bottom's floating see that so that'd be one that I really wouldn't want to have to use I mean you can use it holding it tight and just getting a one one little mill grip on it but that's one that I wouldn't I'm saying that this tool is awesome for lever handles this is a knob set when you actually have a lever handle so same setup but with a lever coming out this tool works very well especially when the keyway is facing the door jam going over some of the other tension tools I have Ones like this I picked up as a freebie. It's made by those people that make the key machines, House of Wu, plus minus times divide. That one's been pretty cool. Um, I have a few others like this that actually jump around the knob. See how that fits in there. But to be honest with you, I don't really like them because they move too much in the plug. So I'm not really a fan of them. I mean, I could, could get a more improved version, but it's never really been an issue for me getting it open and never been an issue enough to actually say, okay, well, I'm going to redesign my tension tools. Another, another point here with this double-sided tension tool where it comes in handy is wafer locks or disc locks. They go in there just nicely. On this particular example, it's got like a little shoulder here. So you've got your face cap and your actual plug has like a little die cast shoulder there. So when you put it in there, you're not actually getting to the discs. So you can't sort of... Um, put it in too far to start to mess you up with the discs so it works good on that okay so now for a working example because I know you're going to want to see that so let's just take our double sided cylinder here and because it's not in any type of vice I'm going to have to hold hold the tension tool and I'm going to use my dyno electric pick gun because it's the one that takes the most amount of uh, experience to use it reminds me of uh, kids in the back of the car you know you put it in you pull the trigger are we there yet? Are we there yet? And it's picked. Show you again. And it's picked. Okay, so there we go, and that, that's picked as well. So yeah, it can uh, can be beneficial if you've got access problems. I mean, I 
I can use just a standard tension tool as well and get just the same results. And on some of our particular cylinders, some of our profiles, and we use a lot of K, uh, well, LW4, which is uh, KS1, Quickset 1, so we normally hold like that. So there's no real problems holding like that because we get 20, plenty of aim at what we're going for. When you've got a particular hard brooch, then this could come in handy. Uh, it's got good clearance in the middle. So would I recommend it? Yeah. For the price it is now, it's a lot cheaper. I paid close to 100 bucks for it. Sat in my toolbox for 10 years and then I pulled it out when it started to get difficult. So now, I don't, um, I don't pull it out too often, but when I do, it's because I've got an access problem. Okay, so that's the round tension tool. Leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.